This vlog is about fear. My biggest fear is not living up to my potential. So every day I push myself as hard as I can. Behind the scenes of how our family works towards bliss each and every day. I am a literal hot mess right now. We just recorded the course yesterday. We were there, I don't even know, nine to midnight one day. And then I think the next day was like 10 to nine, seven, something like that. I'm so excited about the course. It is, aside from my marriage, Tino creating the retreats that we've done, it's the best thing I've ever created. So I can't wait for it to be out in the world. And today I get to speak on reclaiming your story at Kim Fest. I am stoked for that. And I am just praying and declaring and owning it that my voice will hold up. I'm drinking some tea. I uh, can't wait for you guys to see the reclaiming your story speech today. Oh, I'm also teaching a workshop on meditation. I could really, really use that right now. <laughs> I'm imagining, so you know, your brain doesn't know the difference between real and imagined. So right now I'm imagining my throat being coated with honey and it just feeling smooth as butter. And we're off. Ah, we're, we're off, off. We're yes. Off, you know. I'll see you there, puppy. See you there, mommy. I just got to Kim Fest. This is a celebration of life. I think it was actually one year ago. This beautiful soul named Kimberly was murdered by her boyfriend in a home invasion. She was leaving him. It was an abusive relationship and her sister in the hospital bed, she had um, still her wounds were open because she was also attacked. Her sister Chelsea decided to create something beautiful out of this mess and this disaster and this tragedy and she bore Kim Fest. And so last year was the first year of it, just three weeks after Kimberly's passing and now we're here celebrating life. I'm gonna be talking on reclaiming your story. This is bringing up a lot for me because if you don't know my history, I was state raped and in an abusive relationship. I used that experience to make me stronger and just to reaffirm that I am a champion and here on purpose for a purpose. And that's what I'm gonna be talking about today. Again, thank Natalie, Fernandez, for being up here. I've had the courage to put my life in a box and shake it up a couple times. And so with the very last of my bank account, I got myself a place to live here and I'm now looking for work and that kind of thing. And the universe just brought me this. Thank you for that motivation. Oh my gosh, yeah. Who you talking? Thank you. I was like, that's me. That's me. And she's, she's telling my story. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing how so many of our stories are so similar, right? And it's like, I just feel like the more that we can share everyone, then the more that we can just be free. Woo! Did you feel ready? Yes. Did you have a No. No? Yeah, there's no abrazo, no mama. There's no abrazo, mommy. There's no abrazo. I'm going to be in the Oh, mommy. Great. Should we go say hi to the camel, Tino? Okay, let's go. Brave! Good job. Oh, well, I'll teach you my meditation that I do. Okay. How about that? I'll just run through it. Perfect. Okay. Oh, we do some fire breathing. You can keep your eyes open. Okay. <laughs> like, how are you going to talk? I thought you, we were just about to drop it. No, no. Drew, she's like, I'm ready. I'm dropping it. I'm dropping it. Okay. I learned this like from three different people, and I compiled it into something that I call Unlock Your Life Meditation. All right. Here we go. Just want to rest your hands out like this. Bring your hands like this, and I want you to envision a stream of light coming down from the universe, God, source, in through your crown chakra, down and out through your heart, and it's creating a ball of energy right here in your hands. You're going to paint yourself in the middle of this beautiful life that you have decided to create. Painting yourself, painting yourself, 
making a blueprint, an outline of you, full body, head to toe. I'm gonna count back from five. When I say the word one, you will then walk into the painting and fully embody the Catherine that lives that life now. You were in it! You were in it! Oh! Thank you. Oh my gosh. I gotta tell you that that was unique to you. It was? Yeah, I've never done that before. And sometimes when you push yourself too hard, it means you have to rest, which is what I'm doing today because I am overcoming some sort of like cold or something. And I was like, didn't want to rest at all. And then I just thought, nope, eventually you just have to rest. So no matter what you're doing, if you're pushing your hardest, there are gonna be days where you just need to slow your roll and take a break. And that's today for me. Mm -hmm.